Hi, this is uh, Kevin. Thought I'd do something a little bit different today and uh, show you um, a little bit about Black Seas. Um, I bought this kit when it first came out. Um, it's it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, of course, Warlord Games does such a nice job, but it looks like I got uh, rule book 249 of 250. Boy, I cut it pretty tight there. And um, I was a little bit intimidated uh, to be honest, uh, with the whole thing until, uh, my friend Jeff, uh, sat down with me and played a game and I found out how very simple it actually is and how complicated it can be if you want it to be, um, adding lots of rules into it and, and different things. But in general, uh, it plays extremely well, very nice, and, um, I have to say the book reads fantastic. I've learned more about Napoleonic navies and wooden ships and iron men that, than uh, I ever knew before. And so I really don't know much about it even to this day, but I'm reading and the rules and the scenarios, the uh, types of additional rules that you can add to make it um, a little bit more of a competitive game uh, is is astounding. It, the, the rules are extremely well written. Uh, I can normally highly recommend it. So I'm going to show you today uh, the Black Sea fleets that that I've been able to amass. And uh, yeah, let's let's get into it. You know, when you first uh, get into Black Seas and you're buying these boxes of ships, um, you know that looks it looks fairly simple. You just look at it, and of course. Uh, they don't give you much about how to put it together, uh, that's for sure. And uh, when you open up the box, uh, this is what you what you get. Of course, mine are primed except for the little masts here. Um, it's it's daunting. This one is simple uh, because you just glue these, um, you know, the masts into into place, and um, you know the complicated piece comes when you when you want to to do the rigging. These are the simplest of all of the uh, Black Seas fleets that you can build. These are just very, very small little schooner boats, and I'm, I'm, uh, I've got them primed and I've got them ready to, ready to go. Uh, I'm testing a couple of different colors, which ones I want with this. But anyway, as as anybody who's done these knows how difficult they really are and how simplistic. I know that sounds stupid. Um, how can something be simplistic and difficult at the same time? I think, you know, if you just want a ship out there and you take these masks and you just glue them in, right? That's, it's simple and you can spray paint or do a, a general painting. You don't have to put rigging on or you don't have to put a lot of other things on. You can just make it as easy as you want and play the game. But if you want it to look really, really special, uh, these things take time to build. Well, here we are again in Kevin's gaming room, and this is my game table, and these are the gorgeous fleets. So I just thought I'd show you a little bit about what they what they look like as a panorama um, that really, really looks extremely nice, and yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased how they, they turned out. Now, I don't want anybody thinking, you know, that I'm some type of modeling genius. Uh, I have to say, these pushed me to the end, and I got some help. My dear friend Jeff helped me with the rigging and putting them together, and I learned a lot from him, and I put uh, some of these together uh, just this last week. But, um, yeah, without Jeff's help, to be honest, I don't think I would have been able to do this. It was just a little bit too much. But... Nevertheless, let me walk you through it. This right here is the French fleet. Isn't that impressive? Oh, it's beautiful. We'll go into the individual pieces here in just a minute. This one here is my small little American fleet. Uh, of course, it wasn't a large fleet to begin with. And this one over here is my Spanish fleet that's wrecked. 
<laughs> okay, bad sense of humor. And that's my English. So really, this uh, uh, game has, has uh, French, British, Spanish, American, and then you can adjust some. This is my, what I've, I've thought of. Um, this is a, a, my pirate fleet. And um, it's small, but it's a lot of fun with a lot of little gunboats. Uh, that was Jeff's idea of putting together these pirate ships. And uh, I'm really glad that he did. They look, they look very, very cool. Okay, so let's take a look at, at what these uh, bad boys might look like. I mean, these are, are really, really impressive, impressive uh, ships. So as you can see, Warlords has done a fantastic, fantastic job of giving us Wargamers something really, really special. And, uh, you know, they're really delicate. Um, I have to say, but you know, when you when you model them, you put them together the way that they they uh, tell you to. They they come together, you know, fairly fairly nicely. Um, you have to have a lot of patience, and uh, Jeff had a lot of patience, and I really enjoyed uh, you know coming through and touching things up and building a few myself, and really kind of going through and making them what I kind of envisioned them to look like. And, um, you know, this, uh, these are, you know, that's the Orient, um, massive, massive ships. And well, I can tell you it's, it's, it's a lot. I probably went a little overboard, but this is the uh, Warlords box set, plus uh, a couple of others that I added to it that when they came out, but you know, the French, the French fleet had, uh, um, you know, they had color schemes. They had uh, more more blue uh, on their on their ships than the than the British, and um, you know, I think they've I think they turned out pretty pretty nicely. So tried to make them look a little bit as French as I as as we could, and with their flags and pennants, uh, small schooners, really really impressive really a lot of fun to play. And the American ships, uh, the same, uh, very, very uh, nicely done. They're uh, um, in, in white with uh, red. I believe this is the Constitution um, that was out there. Um, no. That's the Resilient. Ah, see, look at that. So that's the Resilient. That other one down there is the Constitution. So very, very nice. And I just thought it would be kind of fun to, to show you. And it's nice, you know, you just throw out a blue mat. I've added a couple of uh, hills, something I learned also from Jeff, kind of give it a little bit of a Caribbean look. And um, yeah, I think, I think it looks fun. And this is a, this is a seven by five table. And it's, it was plenty big to throw out some fleets Probably not this many, but I guess you could. Um, you know, this is the British fleet. Uh, it doesn't look much different than the French in some cases. Black, and yellow, um, but really, really beautiful, beautiful boats. And I can only highly recommend it. You know, you don't need this many. I'm, I'm probably going to sell off a part of this because I don't need this many for my table. But uh, um, it's... They're, they're just a lot of fun. We've had three, four games now uh, with my with my uh, gaming group, and we had a lot of fun. Uh, yes, I lost all four games. Uh, my gaming group, they're very competitive and, and, and unforgiving, uh, that's for sure. Uh, John and Andy both gave me a thrashing. But I had a lot of fun. And uh, I can tell you, uh, never try to turn into the wind. <laughs> that's a uh, that's a no-no but anyway um 
there they are. That's the uh, French, the small pirate fleet, the American fleet, and the British fleet. Um, I don't think I'll be adding any Spanish. I don't think I need them. We can have a good game right, right here. Maybe a game of Trafalgar or something a little bit smaller. Um, anyway, I hope that you uh, enjoyed seeing the ships and and what they what they look like when they're when they're done. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Well, I hope you enjoyed my, the modeling of uh, Black Seas Warlord Games. Uh, naval combat system and uh, hope you enjoyed the ships. Uh, take care and uh, hope to see you soon. Take care.